Think not the Lord came in peace on earth. He came with a sword. Shalom in the name of the Lord, everybody. Welcome to Time of Night Watchmen. Time of Night Watchmen. Time of commentary, information, bound, prophecy, stuff. And say this will be short and relatively brief. This pertains to the last night's dream. And I, I must admit, I'm, I'm stymied, if you will. A bit overwhelming, that. So I think you share in part. Fortunately, we have uh, this ability to share even with imagery. Of course, it's not exactly to the details of my dream, but I think you'll get the gist of it as I would discuss this dream I had last night. And basically, I'm sharing this with you in hopes that you can share with me your insight. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And discernment pertains to this dream. What does it mean? Where is it taking us? And uh, we kind of I threw some scripture in there too because it seems to comply with prophetic scripture as well. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Uh, wowed, a little bit overwhelmed, I guess I am. But uh, let's do this. All right. So last night's dream. <clears throat> so last night's dream. Ah, uh, man. Well, you know, when it comes to dreams, I just I just thought about Psalm 63 again. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as, as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because that, that hast been my help, therefore the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. Ah, always seems to give me some comfort reading that, that psalm. So let's go on. When plains are turned into mountains and mountains rise up out of the seas, is what I saw in my dream, quite literally. Uh, and uh, Nahan, one five says, The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence, yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? Who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. So basically what I saw in my dream is that quite literally mountains showed up in the in the plains and, and mountains rose up even from out of the seas. So this I guess would consider a catastrophic uh, movement of the tectonic plates if you want to get technical about it. Uh, so that's the first portion of my dream, which was quite intense. I mean, it really, it ch the world changed like almost overnight. So that would be constituted as a catastrophic event, I imagine. But that's what I saw the first portion of my dream. Then what followed was almost as immediately as the uh, eruption, if you will, of this, this mountains popping up in places where there were none. <coughs> so, um, yeah, this is the where it gets interesting. Then the trains came. <laughs> I mean, hundreds of them going to and fro, creating destruction in their wake. I mean, there wasn't a place in my dream you couldn't avoid these things. I mean, the tracks were always so close. The events going on around them. I mean, you had a little, you have to stay out of the out of the the direction of these trains. And there were hundreds, if not thousands, of them. They were even crisscrossing, and they were just ripping down the rails. Just, I mean, not stopping for anyone or anything. And like I said, they they, they were creating destruction in their wake. And the key thing was try to, trying to avoid these trains. I'm not sure what the trains signify. It could be governments, it could be armies, it could be corporations. I don't know what it is. But basically, the, the, the key factor is if you want to live your life a long life, avoid the trains. And that basically was the gist of that portion of the dream. So I'm not sure exactly what that means or how this is going to play out in that department. But all I give you are all these freight trains. So that's that part of it. Then the trains came. Hundreds, if not thousands of them. And they were all over the place. It was, it, was, it was incredible. Into the next portion. Then they're the rapture people. <laughs> uh, you gotta love these folks. I really do. Totally lost and confused. I mean, don't, don't put your money in on with the rapture or the rapture people. That, that's all I can say is. 
it's interesting enough because uh, we we approached one of these rapture people in my dream, and they were quite literally lost and confused in the mix of all this chaos. And, and it's interesting. Psalm thirty five four says, "Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt." In Psalm thirty five twenty six, "Let them be ashamed and brought to confusion together that rejoice at my hurt." Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. So my advice is if you run into rapture people, just avoid them. Just stay away from them. They're lost. They're confused. They're, they're, they'll, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Let them stay in their little world of confusion, I guess you might say. Uh, I don't know. Unless you're compelling the spirit to do otherwise, I just avoid them. <laughs> that's what you can do. Just avoid these people, because that's as we were making our way through all the trains, we ran into these rapture people, and uh, <laughs> oh man, talk about being stymied. So that's my advice in light of that dream. I got that part of it pretty good. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Broken up into small groups. That was the final stage of the dream. And we all were quite literally breaking up into small groups. Uh, so survivors, I guess you might say. Uh, survivalists, I, I suppose. Uh, although where I was at was a, it was a warehouse type of place and ran up to a, a half a dozen people. And uh, basically just trying to figure out who could help who and who, who's got what, who knows what, and how to make things work, so to speak. And, and survive. Interesting enough, as Zephaniah 2 once says, Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Hmm. And 2 2 says, Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord came upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And this... Quite literally, I, I I believe this is what it meant. That I this part just kind of jumped out at me and Zephaniah, and uh, maybe it jumped out at you. But this is what I saw in my dream for the most part. And, uh, and, and what do you think? I, I'm I'm looking for some insight or perspective, if you will. Um, put a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. You know, hit the bell, whatever case it be. You know, put make a comment. Whether it be my Facebook page or YouTube channel, doesn't matter. But uh, this basically comes to the end of my dream. A combination of, uh, the basic, I, I assume the tectonic plates are just going to erupt in such a way where planes turn into mountains. Uh, trains, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, y'all will have some discernment on that. As for the rapture people, lost and confused, yeah, that that's pretty appropriate. And, of course, gathering ourselves together in small groups in light of the circumstance coming. Uh, what do you see? Clearly it's an apocalyptic dream. You know, scripture does warn that in the last days the young will have visions, the old will have dreams, and I'm no exception. And yes, this, I do dream quite, yeah, in detail. So, I'm, I'm just looking for your insight and what your perspective is on that. Is it, uh, I, I know the common joke is a pizza dream. I usually said Chinese food dream. <laughs> it's probably not appropriate these days, but anyway, needless to say, I am looking for your insight and see what you have to think or say about Pray on it, see what the Lord says, if he says anything at all. And uh, I put it to you that. That was my dream last night. So this is Time of Night Watch. From Time of Night Watch, Time of Content, Information, Bible, Prophecy, Stuff. See ya. Don't want to be ya. And remember, there is only one way, one truth, and one life. In Jesus' name, amen.